Hello Bio Partners! Today let us know about seed dispersal. Seed dispersal is necessary to grow tiny plants of the same species. Plants disperse their seeds to different distances. Plants have special mechanism for seed dispersal. To know more in detail watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon. Welcome to Bio Education. Dispersal through wind. Have you ever seen white hairy ball or parachute like structure moving in air? These seeds are called calotropes. These seeds usually have light and hairy structure at one end. They travel with wind and settle at suitable places to germinate. Seeds that are dispersed through air are usually light and also containing hairy structure on them. The seeds get adapted in such a way that they can carry easily by wind. This type of specialized structure present in seeds will helpful for dispersal by air. Dispersal by water. How do seed floats on water? The seed adapt to float on water are usually light. The outer covering of the seed has empty spaces filled with air and some are fibrous with air spaces that encloses the whole seed of the fruit. Example coconut. The entire coconut fruit floats on water and moves from one place to another. When it reaches the ground, it germinates. That's why we usually see coconut trees growing near seashores. Another example, seeds of floaters that are heavy usually fall to the bottom of water sources and get carried by the flow of water. Dispersal of seed by animals. Seeds are dispersed by animals in many ways. In case of fleshy fruits, the fruit is eaten by animals while some dry fruits with specialized structure like hooks, thorns, hairy pads get stuck to the body of animals and get carried to certain distance. Not only animals, birds also carry seeds. Some seeds are sticky and get stuck to the beak of birds and in the course of flight they fall down at certain distance. Often some birds carry seeds with their beaks. Sometimes they fall before they reaches the nesting place. Birds like crows eat some fruits. Example, neem fruit. The outer fleshy part get digested in the food canal and the seed coat become tender. Then they disperse to other place as a bird droppings. And also some seed get dispersed through animal excretion also. Dispersal by bursting. Many fruits encloses the seed in a capsule or pots. Upon drying, the pots explodes, releasing the seeds with a great force in the surroundings. Example, mustard seeds. Dispersal of seeds through human beings. Generally, we saw seeds of flowers, fruits and vegetables in our home garden. Everyone is aware of tomatoes. It is common vegetable in cooking of every home. But do you know from where it is come from? And that is not a native place of India. When European travelers came to trade in India, they left some seeds of vegetables like tomato, cauliflower, guava, pears. Similarly, different kinds of seeds of fruits and vegetables around us are imported and exported get dispersed all over the world. So, all this wind, water, animals, birds, human beings, all these are the agents of seed dispersal. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up.